Well, hi everyone, warm welcome back to the channel. And today, a little bit of nostalgia for you. If you're staying at Robin Hood's Bay or at Scarborough or Whitby, then you need a day out at Goatland because this is heartbeat land, folks. And today we're going back in time. You might recognize this, pretty all the cars are in the way, but that's the way it is. It's a quite a popular place. Yes, folks, we're in Aidensfield. We're going to head over to the Aidensfield Arms later and we might need to get some petrol from Scripps who, while we're there, I could organise a funeral because he's also a funeral director. <laughs> Look at all the old signs and stuff in here. There are all the original props from the TV series that are not for sale, including the police accident sign, Ash Ridley District Council. Dear residents, we will be returning to Goatland for what will be the final episode of series 18. Here is a plan of our intentions, which hopefully we should not need to change. Dated 2009. Claude Jeremiah Greengrass down there. Look. And this place may or may not be familiar to you, but this is the Aidens Field Arms, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we were contemplating lunch in here, but we've got plans to go and get on a steam train out of Goatland down to the next village. Really, it's the Goatland Hotel, but the Aidens Field Arms as we know it. Here we are in the Aidens Field having a drink. Marvellous. That's brilliant, isn't it? Just like the real McCoy. Nice little fire burning. Which is brilliant. The Aidens Field Arms, like. And immediately across the road, look, Scripps Funeral Services, the Aidens Field Garage. Look at that. Wow.
day so far then hell it's a pretty good thing isn't it yeah. yeah i quite like it here it's worth a trip definitely yeah mm -hmm. what was your highlight so far then that was all good <laughs> it was all good. i thought my highlight so far was the bacon and sausage rolls in the calf oh, you would, you? <laughs> well they were pretty good weren't they yeah did it help could it help but notice you found a souvenir shop i did yeah what did you buy i there? bought a, a bag in york um a little tartan one with a, a cow on it and they didn't have the matching purse because we went back didn't we to have a look yeah and in that gift shop while you were waiting on your bacon and sausage roll <laughs> i went in and right in front of me was the purse the very same color fantastic so that was the result so that's probably my highlight yeah couldn't help but notice they sold fudge there as well did you get any did you get any fudge that's my business well, i saw a lot of bags with square things in here goes the dream. Yeah. Convenient. Save by the bell. Convenient. Save by the whistle. <laughs> this is probably where the dang trip back. So here we are at Crossmont Station. Just one station down from Gothland. About 10 minutes on the train. And a lot of nice Pullman coaches in here. And it's a dining dining train but there's one carriage on the back which we can get on which is brilliant but look the flags are out getting ready for the coronation and ain't it just fantastic if you're a train buff you'll love it
Well, that was a load of fun. We had a great day at Ghostland, didn't we? We did, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I enjoyed the steam trains because all boys like steam trains. But we also used to really watch Heartbeat every Sunday. Who was your favourite character in Heartbeat? Can you remember? Got to be Nick Berry. Nick, you were a bit of a Nick Berry. Yeah, you had a bit of a crush on Nick Berry, didn't you? I didn't say that. No, but I think you did. I liked... Um, I always liked Greengrass because he was that sort of likeable rogue, wasn't he? He was like a, a petty thief, if you know what I mean. But never a serious thief, was he, really? So, yeah, going to Goathland brought it all back for us. And going on the trains was great. But... That sort of brings us to the end of this stay yeah, at Robin Hood's on. Bay. We're moving on, yeah. So we're going down the coast to Scarborough from here. Mm -hmm. um, we've gone to the first caravan and motorhome club site That's right. of this tour. Yeah. And it's at Caton Village. Mm -hmm. um, they've got some new pitches, which are called premium pitches, I believe. Right. They're a bit bigger, you get barbecue and you get a bench set. And probably more expensive, I should think. And more room. Um, they are more expensive, but we thought we'd give it a try and see if it's worth the money or not. Yeah. So time will tell. Yeah, I'm a bit... Having stayed so far at such lovely sites, I'm a bit nervous about this one, if I'm being completely honest. Mm -hmm. The first two sites of this tour have been great. So, you know, Neighbour Lock was fantastic. The... the uh, the farm at um, Robin, Robin Hood's Bay, Bay, where we are yeah. now, that was brilliant. And now we're going kind of, I'm just worried it might be a bit of a concrete jungle or something. It might be. We will see. Time we'll see, now. we'll see. And we'll see if it's worth the money. We will. Scarborough I'm looking forward to going back to, because we haven't yeah. been back there for a long time. And um, I used to work in Scarborough, so that'll be sort of bringing back a few memories for us. It will be a bank holiday weekend, so it could be busy. Could be, yeah. We will see. If you want to find out all about that one, here's a few little clips, because by the time you see this, we will already have been to Scarborough. So here's a few little clips of what to look forward to. So if you have been, as always, thanks for watching. If you've not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button now. Give it some, give us a thumbs up as well. Hit that notification bell because that lets you know when the next videos are coming out. And also leave a comment because we love all the comments, don't we? Yeah. And we answer every single comment we get. So make sure you leave one of those. See you uh, soon. Okay. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. bye.